Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll take a stab at making a medication or medical insulin vaccine storage with one of these thermoelectric coolers. In a previous video you saw me playing with these thermoelectric coolers. If you haven't seen it, maybe check that out because it gives you the values I was able to get with the CPU heat sinks and a fan. And I've long been wanting to make a vaccine or insulin storage container uh, for uh, off-grid use or when you're traveling. Let's see what we can make. So today I went to my local dollar store and got a little bit of an assortment of containers. Now, when my fiance travels with her insulin, it's usually in a small container like this and we keep it in the fridge. And I can't help but think this is almost the perfect size and well suited. And these things are cheap, buck and a quarter a piece. I think this can be replicated anywhere in the world and with a minimum of equipment, we're gonna try and do a passive cooling system. No fan and see how well this works. Uh, I don't think we'll use these big ones to start. Let's try one of these. In the interest of keeping this ultra cheap, let's go and use some material that can be found anywhere. Let's try an aluminum can to start for our heat sink. What we'll do is we'll cut it along here and then I'm just going to take this, fold it, and uh, probably just use some aluminum tape to secure it here for now, but uh, some creative folding, I, I think this could be replicated anywhere without the tape. And as well, you definitely don't need this container, you could just use some foam or whatever, but let's just give it a shot, see if this thing even works. So now that we've got our strips, I think we can work with these. I think if we put, they're really, really light, so I don't know whether we're gonna get the thermal conductivity we need, but we're gonna try. I think if we put one on the inside and one on the outside and sandwich the cooler between them, I think we should have something to give it a try here. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna set it where the tech unit can get to the outside. Now, this is where it's going to be a little tricky. For our prototype here, I think what we'll do is we'll set it so the wires are this way, and we want lots of contact with the aluminum, but we also need to hold it in place. So, again, I say we use hot glue to the rescue. That way I can take this thing back apart later. And that way we should get Good thermal contact. It's uh, not pretty, but I can also reuse this tech unit this way, which uh, I'm all about because we have no idea whether this is going to work or not. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this other one, we're going to take it, make sure it's flat to the tech unit, and we're going to do the same thing. And I can assure you, that is thermally conductive. Wow, that's hot. Yowchers. Not hot in the middle, so that's a good sign. Alrighty, we're in good shape here, guys. We don't have any insulation in this, because this thing is designed as a pencil case. So, what I think I will do... I'm going to go ahead and cut this up and um, make some a little bit of a thermal break here. All right, well, it's not the prettiest, but we're hooked up to a USB power, the adapter I used in the previous video. We've got this aluminum bonded here, that aluminum in there, and I've just used the foam that came with this pencil case. What we'll do is let's go ahead and stick the temperature measuring in here. I'm gonna use a contact probe on this. Um, infrared, my infrared camera is not gonna work the best in here, especially due to the emissivity of the metal here. It's shiny. I'd have to stick some black tape on it to get a decent reading, but let's just stick this in here and let it go for a while and see whether we can get the temperature to come down. Now there's virtually no air movement in here whatsoever, so this thing is going to struggle no matter what, but well, we'll give it a chance. Uh, and there's no thermal mass in there to, to cool, so uh, maybe that'll help or maybe it'll hinder. So let's let this go for a little while. So final to this video, guys, what ended up happening, I lost the footage, but this didn't work. 
it worked, but because of the lack of a thermal break between these two, I ended up reheating back through the limited insulation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add probably the fan setup on the Peltier, and then we should be back in business. Uh, the passive system didn't work unless I moved to a different insulation setup, and I want to keep this as simple as possible for now. So we're going to go ahead and try that. Sorry this one didn't work out as intended, but such is the nature of experimenting, guys. Uh, it's, it's fun to play and push the limits and see what else you can make out of simple components. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Remember to click that subscribe button below, click that thumbs up, really helps the channel. Cheers guys.